Section 10.6, Segments, Lengths, and Circles. Okay, so what we find, first of all, is that when we have a circle, we have multiple chords that intersect. These chords are divided into segment lengths. <coughs> so chord AB is divided into segments AC and CB and chord DE is divided into segments DC and CE. So AB equals AC plus CB and DE equals DC plus CE. This leads to theorem 10.14, segments of chords theorem. If two chords intersect in the interior of a, interior of a circle, then the product of the lengths of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the segments of the other chord. Basically, if you break these chords into their two segments, then we know that AC times CB equals DC times CE. And let's draw that picture down here for your drawing. So if we have our circle with two chords, then we see this first chord, which is divided into AC and CB. We want to multiply those two segments together and that this product is equal to the product of the parts of the second chord. So DC times CE. And there we go. Well, this leads us then to our first practice problem. In this example, I want you to find the values of DE and BC. Try this on your own first, pause the video, and resume when you're ready to check your solution. For DE, we're looking for this entire chord here, and for BC, we're looking for this entire chord. What that means is that we need to solve for X. We realize we have two intersecting chords. We break our first chord into two segments. We see that x plus 2 times x plus 1 is going to equal the product of the pieces of our second chord, which is x times x plus 4. To solve, we do need to foil or distribute. So we get x squared plus x plus 2x plus 2 equals you get x squared plus 4x. Simplifying, x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals x squared plus 4x. We can subtract an x squared from both sides which now gives us 3x plus 2 equals 4x. I'm going to subtract a 3x from both sides. I get 2 equals x. But that's not what the question was looking for. I wanted to find DE and BC. If I plug 2 for x in, I get DF is 4, FE is 3, CF is 2, and FB is 6 meaning DE is 4 plus 3, which is 7, and CB is 2 plus 6, which is 8. Those are my final answers.